Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now I'm going to start unit number five in the subject accounting for management. So far, two units have completed. Unit number three, financial statement analysis. In that ratio analysis and common size statement analysis I have completed. So many videos I've uploaded on unit number three. Then unit number four, cash flow statement. So number of problems we have solved on cash flow statement then tax planning, tax avoidance, tax evasion, cost classification, cost sheet, all these things have completed in unit number four. Now in this video, I'm going to start the next unit, unit number five. So what are the contents of this unit? See here, the contents of this unit are cost volume profit analysis. What is CVP analysis? What is break-even analysis? What are the assumptions, merits, demerits of this break-even analysis? And the concepts which are used in break-even analysis like contribution, PV ratio, margin of safety, etc. Then managerial uses of break-even concept. This break-even concept will be widely used by managers to take the decisions. The next one, marginal costing techniques. What are the different marginal costing techniques which are used by management in order to take a number of decisions like product mix, then make or buy decisions or capacity utilization or plant shutdown decisions. These are few decisions which management has to take by using this marginal costing technique. Next is standard costing definition process and objectives. Then concept of uh, variance analysis. The two variances, material variance and labor variance. These are all the co contents of this unit number five. So before proceeding to explain the CVP break even, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Then I'll explain all the points. Now, first of all, cost volume profit analysis. What is this CVP analysis? In examination, very frequently they will ask the theory question regarding what is this CVP analysis? What is, mar uh, that means break-even analysis? What are the assumptions, merits, demerits? So the uh, theory part is also very important apart from problems. So give more concentration, don't skip in between, don't join in between. Watch the video till the end to get the complete grasp on the topic of the CVP analysis. Now, CVP stands for cost, volume and profit. So CVP analysis is a technique which is used for studying the relationship between these three variables. What is the relationship? All the cost, volume, profit are not independent. They are dependent. So what is the relationship between these three factors, cost, volume and profit? To study the relationship between these three items, we apply the technique called CVP analysis. This analysis helps in profit planning. Every business management wants to make planning of profit. We have to estimate how much would be the profit we can earn. So for the purpose of profit planning, this technique is a very handy tool to the management. Now, profit depends on a large number of factors, the most important of which are cost of manufacture and the volume of sales. Actually, the profit of any business depends on so many factors. The production, the demand, the technology, all these are the factors. But the most important factor which affects the profit are two cost of manufacture and the volume of sales, quantity of sales, how many units we can be able to sell and what is the cost of manufacture. These two are the main factors which affect the profit. So apart leaving all other factors, we focus how the profit will be affected by cost of manufacture and the volume of sales. Now. Both these factors are interdependent. Just now I told you all the pro cost, profit and volume are not independent. They are interdependent. 
Now, volume of sales depend on volume of production, which in turn is related to cost. So, sales depends on production, production depends on cost. Next comes the CVP analysis provides information about the following matters. How the CVP analysis will be used? What information CVP analysis will give to the management? So, one by one factor we'll study. The first, the behavior of cost in relation to volume. See, all the costs are not same. The behavior of cost is different. Some costs are variable, some costs are, uh, I mean, fixed. So, as the output or activity changes, the cost will also change. So, by applying the CVP analysis, we can be able to understand the behavior of change in cost due to the change in the level of activity. Then second, volume of production or sales where business will break even. Break even means the point at which no profit, no loss. So by using this CVP analysis, we can be able to find out the break even point. Every business wants to find out at what level of activity we will, uh, we will be at no profit, no loss position. We will not incur loss. We will not get the profit. So what is the level of activity at which no profit, no loss, break even? That can be known by using CVP analysis. Thirdly, sensitivity of profit due to variation in output. If the output is increased, if the output is decreased, what is the effect on profit? If the sales are increased by 10% or the sales have been decreased by 10%, what would be the variation in profit? The effect on profit due to the change in the level of activity that can be known by using CVP. Then fourth one, amount of profit for a projected sales volume. Sometimes a business expect that next year we can be able to have so and so amount of sales. If we achieve the so and so amount of sales, how much would be our profit? That means finding out a profit, finding out the profit for a given level of sales, for an estimated level of sales, example, our business. We estimate that next year our sales target is 10 lakh. So if we achieve the sales target of 10 lakh rupees, how much would be the profit we can be able to get? That can be known by using CVP. Next one is quantity of production and sales for a budgeted profit. Suppose if target profit, if budgeted profit is fixed, how much sales we have to conduct, how much sales we have to make in order to achieve the target profit. So these are few areas where information we can get by using CVP analysis. The managers, the management will take all these decisions with the help of CVP analysis. Now CVP analysis may therefore be defined as managerial tool. First of all, remember, this cost volume profit analysis is a widely used technique by the management in order to take a number of decisions, managerial decisions. So showing the relationship between various ingredients of profit planning. I told you, there are many factors which affect the profit, but the most important factor are cost and volume. So we are going to study the relationship between these three. Then such an analysis is useful to finance manager in the following ways. How this CVP analysis will be very much helpful to the managers, to the management. So first, it helps in forecasting the profit fairly accurately. The main function of the management is planning, deciding in order advance. That means the management will decide how much profit we can be able to get. They have to estimate the profit. So fairly, accurately, we can be able to estimate the future profit by applying this CVP analysis. Secondly, it helps in setting up flexible budget. Budget is a plan of activity to be applied in a future period of time. So in a future period of time, we have already made a plan. So normally we will make a flexible budget because future is uncertain. We cannot make a fixed budget because the future we cannot be able to see the future. It is completely uncertain. So normally we make a flexible budget at different levels of activities. In, uh, in future, 
we may achieve some 10,000 units or 15,000 units or 20,000 units of sales. The different projections we have made. So in this way for making flexible budget, this CVP analysis will be very much helpful. Thirdly, it also assists in performance evaluation for purpose of management control. The main function of the management is planning and controlling. Controlling means seeing that whatever we have planned, are we achieving it or not? So in order to apply, evaluate the performance for the purpose of management control, this CVP analysis will be used by the managers in order to control. Next one is it helps in formulating price policy by projecting the effect which will differ, which differentiate with different price structure will have on cost and profit. See, one of the important decision which management will take is fixing the selling price. Carefully, the selling price should be fixed. If the selling price is arbitrarily fixed at a very high level, then demand will come down, sales will come down. Similarly, if arbitrarily fix a very low price, what will happen? The profit will come down. So either way, we cannot make arbitrarily fixing of selling price. So for appropriately fixing the selling price, accurately fixing the selling price, we need the CVP analysis. So management will utilize this technique of CVP analysis in order to fix the selling price so that the company's profitability should not be affected nor the sales, the demand in the market should get affected. We must have a good demand and we must have sufficient to profit. For that purpose, accurate selling price has to be fixed and management will make use CVP analysis to fix the selling price. Thus, CVP analysis is an important media through which the management can have insight into the effect on profit on account of variation in cost and sales and the appropriate distress. So that's why CVP analysis is a very important tool in the hands of the management to take the decision regarding profit planning, how the profit will get affected due to the changes in cost and due to the changes in the volume of sales. So in this way, for decision making purpose, the management will use the CVP analysis. So this discussion is sufficient to explain the concept of CVP analysis in examination. Now, next concept is break-even analysis. Actually, normally the people will think that uh, break-even analysis and CVP analysis both are one and the same, synonymous, but it's not correct. There are some differences between CVP analysis and break-even analysis. One simple point I will tell you, break-even analysis is a part of CVP analysis. The CVP analysis is a very wide concept which includes the concept of break-even. The so break-even is only a part of CVP analysis. The so break-even analysis is widely used technique to study CVP relationship. The narrower interpretation of the term break-even analysis refers to a system of determination of that level of activity where cost equal to sales. Now see, there are two interpretations of the concept break even, narrower concept and wider concept. According to narrower concept, the break even analysis means finding out that level of activity at which the total cost and total sales will be equal. When total sales and total cost both are equal, then profit will be zero. So simple words, break-even point is that point at which there is no neither profit nor loss, no profit nor loss. Total sales is equal to total cost. That is called break-even analysis in a narrower sense. But what about the broader sense? In a broader interpretation, it refers to that system of analysis which determines probable profit at any level of activity. From broader perspective, break-even analysis refers to the technique of finding out to the profit at different levels of activity. If we attain a level of activity of 10,000 units, how much profit? If our activity increased to 12,000 units, what is the profit? If the activity is increased to 20,000 units, what is the profit? So we are going to find out the profit at different levels of activity. 
that is called break-even analysis according to broader concept right now it portrays the relationship between cost of production, volume of production and the sales value. Now it may be noted that CUP analysis is also popularly, although not very correctly, des uh, desig uh, designated as break-even analysis. So some people will see that, uh, say that break-even analysis and CUP analysis are the same, but it is not correct. Some differences are there. The difference between the two terms is very narrow. CVP analysis includes the entire gamut of profit planning while break-even analysis is one of the techniques used in this process. Just now I told you CVP analysis is a very wide concept in which so many techniques are there and break-even analysis is only one of the part of CVP analysis. Secondly, however, the technique of break-even analysis is also popular for studying CVP analysis. Many people instead of saying uh, CVP analysis, they will call it as break-even analysis. They will use it synonymous. The terms are used synonymous. So this is the explanation about CVP analysis and break-even analysis. In the next video, inshallah, we will continue the remaining theory part. After completing the theory part, I will start the problems on CVP analysis. So if you are really interested, watch all the videos from beginning till end, all the videos. Don't join in between. So if you have not watched, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject accounting for management. Watch all the videos. Be perfect on the concept. Inshallah, we'll continue the next uh, topic in the next video.